Once you have determined that a state machine is the best approach to controlling the life cycle and behavior of the class or its instances, you can create one by right clicking on the class in any view and choosing the new menu option and then picking the state machine you want created. You can see here that now we have a state machine under the workout timer class. You can open it by double clicking on the state machine. This will bring up an empty state machine. Now to create states, you can go to the palette view, choose the state tool, and draw the state. Then you can give it a name and click OK. Now you have a state created. If we create another state here, we can then create a transition between the two states by selecting the transition tool and selecting the start state and the end state. At this point your transition has no event assigned so we need to create an event. To do so we can right click on the background of the diagram and choose the event option under new. Then we can give the event a name At this point, we can see in the tree that the event has been created. However, it is not assigned to our transition. So we can select the transition, right click on it, and choose Assign Event. This dialog will present you with a pull down menu of all events under the machine. In this case, we only have the one, but otherwise, you'd have to choose which one you wanted assigned to that transition. Then click the Finish button. Now you can see that the event has been assigned to this transition, so that while we're in the stop state, if we receive the start stop pressed event, we transition to the running state. Creation transitions, which is a tool that can be selected in the palette, need to be created starting from white space, and then drawn into the state destination. Event assignment is done the same way. Further configuration of state machines can be done by modifying the can't happen or event ignored properties. You can right click on a state and choose ignore event and get a pull down menu of the events in the machine, clicking finish. Now if we receive the start stop pressed event while in the running state it's ignored. You can also do a can't happen event and again switch it back to a can't happen. Another way to modify these behaviors is to use the state event matrix tab and click on the can't happen or event ignored entry and switch them. Class state machines are created in the same way by right clicking choosing new and class state machine. To open them you can either double click the class state machine icon or you can double click the class state machine entry in the tree and again we're presented with an empty machine then you can proceed to create states and transitions in the same way that you do on the other diagram in this case the only difference is that when you right click a transition you can also assign signals to the transitions by first selecting the interface containing the signal and then choosing the signal that you want assigned